Welcome to Afri's Concept TV. Breaking news. Details emerge as Tinubu, Gowon, Jonathan, Tanjuma, Obi, others meet. The news in detail. Prominent individuals gathered in a notable event as President Bola Tinubu, accompanied by various influential figures, attended the public launch of Brutally Frank, the autobiography of Chief Edwin Clark, an elder statesman. President Tinubu, the esteemed guest of honor, was represented at the event by George Akume, the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, SGF. The role of chairman for the occasion was held by former head of state, General Yakubu Gowon. The book presentation attracted a host of notable personalities, including Lieutenant General Theophilus Danjuma, who acted as the chief launcher. Other distinguished attendees included Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Miriam Abacha, the wife of the late former head of state, and several traditional rulers, among them the Oni of Ife, Obadi Yeye Enito, Ogunusi, Emir of Kano, Ado Bayero, Atai Gala, Ata Matthew Opalua, amongst others. Also in attendance were governors from Edo, Delta, Bauchi, Plato, and Taraba states. General Yakubu Gowon, who served as the head of state during Chief Clark Steno as the Federal Commissioner for Information and Foreign Affairs, expressed that he never encountered any disagreement with the author. Gowon noted that their interactions were respectful and cooperative, and while uh, differences of opinion existed, Chief Clark worked ardently to articulate his perspective. Gowon commended the autobiography, Brutally Frank, as an insightful record of events during his administration. He emphasized Chief Clark's valuable note role in building unity within Nigeria and the West African subregion particularly in the establishment of ECOWAS. He expressed hope that the younger generation will benefit from the book's account, contributing to their understanding of Nigeria's history and the aspirations of peace, unity, and progress shared by the country's leader. So Mr. Clark releases um, a, an autobiography titled Brutally Frank. He says it won't be quiet if his people are suffering. So um, the former Federation Commissioner for Information and South South Leader, Chief Edwin Clark, he released um, a memo titled Brutally Frank to mark his 96th birthday. Yes, he's actually 96 years old now. And... He, he made it known to the people that he would not be quiet if his people are suffering. He would speak up, he would defend them, fight for them. Mm. Then on Thursday at his Asokoro residence, he was speaking during a church service. You know, to thank God for his life um, and, you know, literally appreciating um, the people and thanking God for another year which he is experiencing on earth. The leader, Pan Niger Delta Forum, Pandef, said that Nigeria is not standing properly and there will be no peace. Just as he vowed that as a Nigerian, he will not keep quiet if his people are suffering and marginalized by other parts of the country. And it is also known that since the abduction of Chibok girls, Clark's man said that he has stopped celebrating his birthdays. Like, so, what he resulted doing, or what he does every year since the Chibok girls were abducted, that he stopped celebrating his birthdays, what he now does is he releases birthday messages. Because he knows that Nigeria cannot even be won by mere words of mouth alone. Nobody trusts anybody in Nigeria. Like everybody breaking up. Like so many issues are just going on. 
And the funny thing about this book, this autobiography that he wrote, is he invited people, he invited dignitaries to the event. And according to what he said, he said he wrote a book that some people they can decide to take him to court too, but it's the truth that you can't really kill the truth. That will keep quiet when Nigerians are suffering. So we really want to know the content of that book. We want to know what he wrote in the book. We want to know the the things that he wrote. We want to read it, we want to learn and we want to like make our opinions. Because one thing about Clark is is always preaching unity. Like even at his age, ninety six years old, he's preaching unity. So I believe the novel would enlighten people, people that are in the dark. It will enlighten them to see life in another way. You know, it will it will make them see that it's not just it's not just making money. It's not just being corrupted. It's not just going after what it is. Like there's so much more. There's so much more that you can offer than stressing innocent Nigerians, literally. So, um, we really cannot wait to to get a copy and to go through it. I'm happy, I'm, I'm indeed proud that a 96-year-old year old man can still go all out trying to write a, an autobiography and, you know, touch the life of people maybe direct not directly but indirectly and the advice is nigerians to always speak when you want to speak and uh, speak what you want to say and you allow god to do the rest like he is at this stage where all he wants is peace and unity not just for himself and his household but also for nigerians for people to for people to live in harmony and for the people, the bad eggs, they should really change. That they should really change. No matter where you find yourself, even in your environment, like, make it make it better than the way you met it. Do not be afraid to um, show yourself or to um, express yourself in nice ways. Yes, in quotes, in nice ways. So uh, we're really excited for him and we really wish him a happy birthday and a glorious celebration because it's literally it's birthday week. So we really wish him um, all his heart desires. So dear viewers, we've come to the end of today's discussion. Do not forget to like, follow, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.